Hi everyone, this is Jason with eStore Coaching. Today we're here to take a look at WooCommerce UPS dropshipping uh, plugin created by IgniteWoo. This plugin not only lets your shopping cart calculate shipping costs based on where a product ships from and where it's shipping to, but also uh, it has the ability to actually uh, for you to configure each product in your store to ship from multiple locations. So it's great for folks that have uh, a, a drop shipping business where you have multiple um, uh, distributor locations or, or stores even. Uh, so take for example, a customer bought a t-shirt and a hat from your store. So this t-shirt ships from uh, Washington and the hat ships from New York. Uh, you have the ability to actually input two separate zip codes for your store to calculate an accurate shipping cost. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you um, how to configure a couple of places for you to actually configure your your plugin. Uh, the general site wide, uh, uh, sorry, site wide settings is going to be and also at the individual product level. Uh, so both options I'm going to walk through. So after you actually do your installation of uh, of this plugin, you're going to see uh, you're going to basically see it here in your plugin module under WooCommerce UPS Dropshipping Pro. So after that's been installed and activated, uh, what you would like to do is actually go to your WooCommerce tab and go to settings. So this is the, again, this is the, the store-wide settings and and you can actually set your base location here if you want. Gen these, he's actually, this is my general settings. So we're gonna go to the shipping tab. And in the shipping tab, you're gonna see uh, some basic shipping options. We're going to enable shipping and then en enable the shipping calculator on your cart page. And uh, these are some of your per personal preferences on, on how you want to set this up. Uh, for restricting shipping to location, I'm going to set this to a specific country, uh, the United States. And also it's going to be defaulted to automatic. I'm going to set this to UPS uh, drop shipping, which is the Ignite Woo's uh, plugin. So I'm going to go to settings. So in this uh, UPS drop shipping tab over here, uh, this is the extension for, for the UPS shipping what we're going to do is actually enable ups drop shipping here on this menu um, i'm going to leave this as, as ups again this is going to be uh, only for ups and not for fedex or dhl or any other um, shipping rates you want to calculate this is a plugin only for 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 ups um, method of shipping i'm going to select a specific country so i'm not sure how this actually plays in with my other uh, shipping options, but let's keep it consistent. I'm gonna keep this to United States. For taxes, I'm gonna leave, set this to none, the full handling none as well. Uh, this is your specific UPS settings. Now, if you don't have a UPS account, it's uh, it's a free account for you to set up. I'm gonna have the link and in, in, in all these configuration settings in my show notes uh, at the end of this video. So. There's going to be a link for UPS, uh, UPS developer kit here. And what you will like to do is uh, go through this step one through four. You're going to register your account, fill out all this information here. And after you're done, you basically request an, uh, an access key. Uh, so you're going to get this access key and actually plug this information um, into these fields right here. So after you're done inputting all this information into uh, into into this page, uh, let's go through the rest of the settings. We're gonna leave this blank. Negotiated rates over here. Uh, dimension unit. I'm gonna have inches and uh, pounds for, uh, for 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 the weight. Uh, just a uh, quick reminder. You will like to actually um, try try not to mix. Actually, do not mix the units of measurements. Uh, Keep it to all U.S. measurements, uh, pounds or inches, and inches, uh, or all metric measurements such as kilograms and centimeters. Uh, pickup type, 
I'm gonna leave it at daily pickup packaging UPS uh, packaging or your own packaging I'm gonna pick uh, my own packaging uh, exclude dimensions this is a uh, very important for for your site so if uh, if you don't like to keep uh, if you have a uh, hundreds of thousands or thousands of products you don't want to actually or you may or may not want to have uh, have all the dimensions for your particular product your your height your width your your length perhaps or so what you would like to do is actually uh, enable this so that uh, when this plugin sends the it won't send the dimensions to UPS to calculate the rate it'll, it'll only set uh, only set the weight excuse me send the weight of the product to UPS for you to calculate the real-time shipping cost so this is a uh, this is great so shipping style <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it as shipping together I'm gonna uncheck that leave that unchecked uh, destination type I'm gonna have that as residential leave this blank UPS test server debug debug mode uh, leave this off as well uh, this is where you actually uh, have your generic uh, your home base uh, so if you don't have a specific a location for your products you want you shipping from uh, UPS is calculated the shipping based on uh, this right here 89701 so these are you can select the type of rates you want to offer uh, next day second day I'm gonna select I'm gonna have these uh, select I'm gonna actually remove next day here let's save the changes okay so what we went through is just uh, store-wide settings and let's go to let's take a look at a, a product and see how a individual product level is set at I'm gonna take a look at the, one of the caps here new error caps uh, Ignite Woo's uh, module is right here on the right column uh, UPS drop shipping this is where you want to enter a, a origin zip code if it's different from your store uh, this could be again the manufacturers uh, uh, zip code or where, where the product is shipping from exactly now if you don't see that particular module is down here don't forget to go to screen options and actually select it uh, here UPS uh, drop shipping so what I would like to do next is actually walk through an example and uh, put a couple of items in the product in, in the shopping cart and see see this uh, plug-in uh, calculate the shipping so I'm gonna add, uh, add this item here and let's select the cap So in my cart, I have two items, a uh, t-shirt and a cap. And it's going to calculate shipping based on what zip code you're shipping to. Okay, so uh, 92069. Uh, if you take a look at here, UPS ground shipping is $12.67. Okay, let's remember that, $12.67. Uh, I am going to, if I remember correctly, my other item is shipping from the same... Uh, uh, same zip code so I'm gonna change this up and let's say let's say I want to leave a blank it's gonna be shipping from my uh, from my store let's, let's look at the other other item over here is shipping from 11204 and again don't forget to have your weight here uh, you see I don't have the dimensions here I don't want to input that for all my products alright so again the ground shipping is $12.67 I'm gonna expect it to be more since it's gonna be shipping from two separate locations now so let's update my cart it's $23 right now so it's a it's a great plugin plugin if you have a, if you have a drop shipping business um, you wanna um, create more of a real-time pricing for your customers so as a summary re recap just make absolutely certain that you have a weight length width and height for every product in your store that requires shipping 
but unless you you're using the weight only settings like I just showed you in which case uh, make sure you only have the weight in every product now if you uh, do not have a UPS um, if you don't have that information UPS cannot actually calculate shipping rates and sometimes it might appear to be free so make sure you select that again uh, for the units of measurements make sure you keep it consistent pounds and inches together and kilograms and centimeter now if you would like to purchase uh, this uh, this plugin from ignite Woo, you can go to the website ignitewoo.com and it's $99 per site uh, per site license so it's, it's, it's comparable to all the other plugins you see uh, out there in the market and one last thing if you like to see more of these type of tutorials just let me know I love creating these and also subscribe to my email list uh, let's keep in touch let me know uh, what you're working on and I'm here to create relevant content just for you uh, until next time again Jason Chan here with eStore Coaching thank you for watching